This presentation on Poisson distribution shows some examples of how to calculate Poisson probabilities. Poisson distribution, like the binomial distribution, is a discrete probability distribution and therefore describes the behavior of a variable that has countable or integer outcomes. But Poisson distribution, as I note here, expresses the frequency of a particular event uh, in a given time or space. So it is bounded by time or space. And um, as I, I give some examples here, say the number of vetoes cast by a president in a presidential term, say the number of defective products in a factory uh, produced in one day, the number of staff infections in a hospital in a year, the number of accidents in a given stretch of highway, you know, stuff like that. Now, the Poisson distribution, um, which is uh, named after uh, Simeon Denis Poisson, a French uh, mathematician of old, assumes that these events occur with a known average rate. You know, they occur with a known mean and are independent um, from one time of occurrence to to another. So here is the Poisson formula and in this formula you see this exponential, uh, this exponential term here E it is the base of natural logarithms and this is the approximate value but we're going to use spreadsheet or calculator to perform the calculations. Mu here is the mean of the distribution which is the average number of successes if you like or the number of occurrences over the defined interval. Now keep in mind that the, the distinction between the Poisson here and the binomial is that the Poisson is going to be bounded by time or space interval kind of a thing. And then this is x factorial and remember that if for example x is 4 then it's going to be the multiplications counting going down so that 4 factorial is going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which in this case solves to be 24 if it's 10 then you're going to go 10 times 9 times 8 going down all the way to 1 alright so by definition both the mean and the variance of the Poisson variable is equal to the number of occurrences in times p, the probability of success, as it were, which is constant. So here's a quick example. It says in a certain community, the number of babies born with a birth defect occurs on average 0.7 times per year. What then is the probability that there will be exactly two birth defects in a given year? So again, the question is the probability that x is equal to 2. So here's our two uh, input data points. It's going to be the mean of the average of 0.71 and then the number of successes of 2. So going here we define the formula and then we substitute in the values and this is the calculated results. The probability that there will be exactly two defects is equal to 0 0.1239. Right? So now let's go to the calculator All right, so to get e to the negative 0.71, type in 0.71, and then put this, uh, hit this plus minus uh, uh, key there to impose the negative sign, and then execute e to that value. So notice e is a second function because it's on the floor of the calculator. So you're gonna have to go, um, you're gonna have to go second and then this and that's your result right there which you see right here so I'm gonna store it store and let's store it right here in one clear the screen and then let's multiply out this so this is gonna be 0 0.71 squared alright then hit x squared right there and that's your result right here so I'm gonna store it store 2 clear the screen. Now keep in mind 2 factorial is gonna be equal to 2 because it's 2 times 1 so I'm just going to go recall 1, which is this value here, multiplied by recall 2, which is the second value equal, and then we divide that by 2. 
there you go and that's how you get your answer right here 12.1239 now we can also go here to Excel and use the Poisson formula which a, a function rather which I've written out here for you alright so right there the this is the formula and this uh, that's the input right there and this is the calculated result I'm gonna delete that and then I'm gonna show you how it is equal and then you type in Poisson open parenthesis now you can either look over here or you can look at my prompts right here so the first is X the number of successes comma second is the mean mu which is this comma and then we're gonna have to put in true or false since we're since we're look, looking for the exact number of successes we're gonna have to use false if it were up to a particular point which is probability which is cumulative uh, probability then we're gonna use true so that's it and type enter and that's your result right there going back to the presentation now it says but what what is the probability of at least two meaning two or more so again that's our input two or more keep in mind um, is would be equal to the probability that X is equal to two three four or five on and on and on and on but now re remembering that the maximum value of of uh, probability is one we can also express it in this way which would be the probability um, that uh, which would be 1 minus the probability of x equal to or less than 1 probability that x is is uh, equal to or less than 1 would be the probability that x takes on the value of 0 and the value of 1 so we can uh, individually calculate these two probabilities using the formulas I show here all right and then add them up and subtract from 1 and that's what I did here to get 0.1593 you can also real quick go over here to Excel and that's the work right here X greater than or equal to 2 so we can go ahead and do X less than or equal to 1 and then perform this calculation let's just get rid of that All right, Poisson equal Poisson so we click on uh, we click on uh, X which is this comma we click on the mean which is this comma and this time we're gonna click true we're gonna type in true it doesn't matter if you type it in uppercase or lowercase close parenthesis so this is giving us probability of X equal to 0 and 1 added together so then to get more than 2 sorry to get 2 or more all we have to do is uh, subtract this value from 1 but again to do manual calculation on Excel you're gonna to have to type equal first and then 1 minus this number right there equal to and that's your result right there which we have down there and then that's what I just showed you in Excel copied over to PowerPoint and this says what's the probability of no defects oh, sorry um, of no uh, baby born with a birth defect alright so that's the probability that X takes on the value of 0 alright and that comes out to be 0.4916 and then using Excel is gonna be using the false criterion to get this all right? and here's a quick practice problem it says a life insurance salesman sells on average three life insurance policies per week calculate the probability that in a given week he will sell two or more policies but less than five well two or more that's it right here X greater than or equal to two that's two or more however X has to be less than five so expanded out two or more would be X can take on the value of two three four however we can't go further because it says X less than five so really we can calculate these four probabilities individually which is what I did right here and then add them together to get 0.6161 so I illustrate that right here so you can see that less than 2 so greater than or equal to 2 would be from this point two going onwards going forward however we can only go up to 4 because X is less than 5 so we're, we're therefore looking for these probabilities 
So that's basically it right here. And if you want to use Excel to do this, keep in mind that less than five would be would be for a probability that x is less than or equal to four. So using the cumulative uh, criterion, which is true, you get this number. But four or less would be four going all the way to zero. So why don't we separately get one or less? which would be get this and get this and then subtract it from four or less which is what I did here so I got um, four or less which is this and then I got one or less which is this and then I subtracted this value from this to get this final result so anyhow either way you do it you'll be good alright this is Pat OB at Purdue University Calumet